Here's my simulation of what happened to the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center. This is the South Tower. And as you watch the edge of the tower come down, you can just see a distinct kink in the edge of the structure there as it falls. There, watch. Sadly, it's mostly lost in the smoke, but it's difficult. But there, you can just see a There. There. You can't see it when it's stationary, but when it's moving, as the edge of the building comes past the field of view, through the smoke, you can see a kink in it. And, uh... I had actually wondered what that kink was, but the, uh... Having run the simulation, a similar kink appeared when the, uh... the structure failed. It was quite pronounced in the simulation. And, uh... This is the South Tower. Now, uh, first thing to notice is that that piece of metal there, which was in total free fall and wasn't supported by anything at all, fell, didn't fall any faster than the top of the tower. Second thing to notice is the debris, uh, the, the debris taking out the rest of the building. Let's, let's look at that again. I'll press reset. The failure's there. There's the weak point. The top of the building rotates. The free fall marker is travelling just as fast as the top of the building. And then uh, the bottom part of the structure stands for a little bit until various resonances work through it and it too starts to break up. Right, let's do... Let's put it into slow motion and try reset again. There's a weak bit. Weak bit fails on one side, fails right through the tower. As it does so, that pushes out the back. It also kinks there. Keep that in mind, because the real tower did that. I've got a close-up video of that buckle there as the tower comes down. And that's the... That is in total free fall. It wasn't supported by anything. And when when I set the simulation going, that is just falling at the speed of gravity. And uh, it's interesting to think that the top of the building, it, although it had a slight head start, once it got once the top of the building got up to speed, it fell at exactly the same speed it did. Let's speed it up again. And then the uh, rest of the building follows it down. Slow. Reset. The top of the building turns sideways, breaks free of its supporting columns, then basically just plummets through the rest of the structure. Absolutely, even as it's breaking up, the columns, it's got so much momentum, the columns provide little resistance to uh, it falling. Do a reset. One more time. That's the centre gone. And notice it actually kicks back. Notice the back comes out as the uh, building drops. Speed it up a bit. And that's it. End of story. Must confess that's quite painful the first time I, I ran that. And, uh, let's go to the edit screen. If I pan up and go back to the test screen, you see... If I 
to slow it down. Reset. That gets a head start because it's in free fall. But once the building fails, the building then goes after it, so to speak. And uh, the top of the building and that thing there, which is in total free fall, fall at pretty well the same speed. Once the building has failed, it has no ability to support itself at all and basically just falls out the sky literally in free fall. As a uh, falling lump demonstrates. This is a computer game called Pontifex. Computer program called Pontifex. Pontifex apparently is Latin for bridge builder. So look up Pontifex. Um, it's not expensive. So uh, it's actually a bridge building game, but uh, it simulates construction out of steel. And uh, if I go into the edit screen, you see what I've done is I've made the tower out of heavy steel, but to simulate the bits that were weakened by the fire, I use light steel. And uh, if you look carefully there, those bars are a bit thinner. That's light steel, it's heavy steel. And that's just the, the two girders I put in the sky that just fell straight down without any support whatsoever. And what you do is you have your... Uh, well, you, you click on, say, light steel. And then you can put add something on there. Click. Click. And face. Uh, Sorry, I wasn't aiming the camera properly. I'll do that again. You go click click and say so I've just added a bit on now when you go to the test screen you see the, the bit I've added on is just there let's go back to the edit screen let, sorry um, let's move that let's get rid of that and let's put that out there there test Uh, here's a, a video on YouTube of the uh, collapse happening. You can actually see a bit of the central core survives briefly before it falls down as well. And uh, if you watch the edge of the tower, you can see a kink in it just there, it's just gone past the camera. That was a closer view, but so it wasn't so uh, visible. Let's try and go back a bit. There, just there, just gone past the field of view as a kink. Um, the side of the tower is crumbling there. It's a kind of zigzag. Let's go back and play that again. Play. There, you see, it's, there's a break, a crumple in the side of the tower. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> 